Okay, here we're setting up to line bore a roughing cut on Mercedes 680 engine. We're using a saddle micrometer to set the cutter height very precisely. The swing of the cutter is what will determine the bore of the bearing. This is a roughing cut so that uh, it's not as critical how far it cuts out. We're taking right now about 25 thousandths per uh, cut. When the final cuts start, we'll be taking much, much smaller cuts. Looking for an overall diameter uh, that's about two and a half thousandths larger than the crankshaft itself. You can see the chip coming out. If you look in the back, you'll see both the groove and the reservoir for oil that were cut earlier. Those were actually cut up on a lathe so that they're not uh, being done as part of this process. They were cut deep and the depth was calculated based on what our final finish uh, would be of the bearing. This is a four bearing crankshaft. You can see we're working on number one right now, number two, number three, and number four is where the thrust is set on the crankshaft. So that bearing is actually very critical on, in terms of how its shoulders are cut. And once again, here you can see the reservoirs and the oil grooves that have been pre-cut. The crankshaft itself is a very large unit, four cylinder, and runs a large supercharger off the, uh, off the nose. And here you have the thrust face, which becomes very critical for how the crankshaft sits with this being a bearing surface and this being a bearing surface as well. If this distance isn't set up correctly, the crankshaft can go back and forth too far in the engine. This engine's also interesting in that its bearings are fed, or its rod bearings are fed by a squirt of oil that goes into these reservoirs where it's centrifugally flung up into the up into the cap or into the pins where it's then distributed here up into the rods. Very unique engine, very unique car, and very interesting process for setting up the bearings. Here we're almost through our cut. You can see that the line bore machine now has come through and we're ready to make the next cut.